Did you know? The loudest room in the world is the Reverberant Acoustic Test Facility, RATF, at NASA's Glenn Research Center in Sandusky, Ohio. It can produce a continuous noise of 163 decibels, which is equivalent to the sound of a jet engine taking off 20 feet away. The RATF is used to test the acoustic resistance of rocket parts, satellites, and other space-related hardware. The room is made of concrete and steel, and it has 36 loudspeakers that are covered in soundproofing material. The speakers are driven by pressurized nitrogen gas, which allows them to produce very loud noises. The RATF is also equipped with a sound measurement system that can accurately measure the noise levels inside the room. The RATF is a very dangerous place to be. The noise levels are so high that they can cause permanent hearing damage. And the pressure waves can also cause physical injuries. For this reason, you can't go inside the RATF, but there's a video on YouTube of someone who did. They couldn't even talk or walk straight because the noise was so loud. In addition to the RATF, there are a few other rooms that are known for their extreme loudness. One is the Orfield Laboratories Sound Pressure Chamber in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This room can produce a continuous noise of 126 decibels. This is still loud enough to cause hearing damage. These rooms are used to test the acoustic resistance of a variety of products, including cars, headphones, and hearing protection devices. They are also used to train people to work in noisy environments, such as airports and construction sites. Did you know? The anechoic chamber is a place of silence. But not just any silence. This is the kind of silence that can make you feel like you're going crazy. The silence is so complete that you can hear your own heartbeat, your breathing, and the blood flowing through your veins. It's like being inside your own body, but without any of the distractions of the outside world. Welcome to Rewrite Info Station. We start hearing in the womb around the 24th week of pregnancy. The sounds that we hear in the womb, such as our mother's heartbeat and voice, help to develop our hearing and language skills. After we are born, we continue to learn about sound. We learn to distinguish between different sounds and to understand the meaning of sounds. So what is a sound? Sound is a form of energy that is transmitted through vibrations. The vibrations cause the particles of the medium to move back and forth, creating a wave. These waves travel through the air, water, or any other material until they reach our ears. Sound waves are longitudinal waves, which means that the particles of the medium vibrate in the same direction as the wave is traveling. The speed of sound depends on the properties of the medium. For example, Sound travels about 1,100 feet per second through air, but it travels about 4,900 feet per second through water. Whales use sound to communicate with each other. They can produce sounds that travel for hundreds of miles. Bats use sound to navigate and find food. They emit high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and return to their ears. This allows them to create a mental map of their surroundings. Sound is measured in decibels, dB. A decibel is a logarithmic unit that expresses the ratio of two sound intensities. The lower the decibel level, the quieter the sound. The higher the decibel level, the louder the sound. Sound can be measured in two ways, frequency and amplitude. Frequency is measured in Hertz, Hz which is the number of sound vibrations in one second. Frequencies below 20 Hz are called infrasound, and frequencies above 20,000 Hz are called ultrasound. Amplitude is the measure of how loud a sound is. It is measured in decibels, dB. 
A sound of zero decibels is the quietest sound that a human can hear. A sound of 120 decibels is the loudest sound that a human can hear without pain. The pitch of a sound is determined by its frequency. High-pitched sounds have a higher frequency than low-pitched sounds. Pitch is a major auditory attribute of musical tones, along with duration, loudness, and timbre. In musical notation, the different vertical positions of notes indicate different pitches. Different musical instruments produce sounds with different frequencies. The violin, for example, produces sounds with a higher frequency than the tuba. Any sound that is unwanted or unpleasant is noise. It can be caused by a variety of things, such as traffic, construction, and machinery. Noise can be harmful to our health. It can cause stress, anxiety, and even hearing loss. Music is the art of arranging sounds in a pleasing or meaningful way. It is a complex and multifaceted form of art that can be enjoyed by people of all ages and cultures. Music is made up of many different elements, including pitch. Pitch is the highness or lowness of a sound. It is measured in hertz, hz. Rhythm. Rhythm is the pattern of beats in a piece of music. It is measured in beats per minute, BPM. Melody. Melody is the arrangement of notes in a piece of music. Harmony. Harmony is the relationship between different notes in a piece of music. Timbre. Timbre is the quality of a sound that distinguishes it from other sounds. Texture. Texture is the way that the different elements of music are combined. Form. Form is the overall structure of a piece of music. Music can be played by humans or by machines, and it can be written down or improvised. Music has many different purposes, including Entertainment Music is a form of entertainment that can be enjoyed by people of all ages and cultures. Communication Music can be used to communicate emotions, ideas, and stories. Ritual Music is often used in religious and spiritual rituals. Education. Music can be used to teach children about different cultures and to develop their cognitive skills. Therapy. Music can be used to help people with mental health conditions and to reduce stress. Music is a powerful form of art that can have a profound impact on people's lives. It can bring people together, evoke emotions, and inspire creativity. Did you know that the average pitch of a male voice is 120 Hz? While the average pitch of a female voice is 220 Hz. This is because the vocal cords of males are typically longer and thicker than the vocal cords of females. The longer and thicker the vocal cords, the lower the pitch of the voice. The pitch of a sound can also be affected by its timbre. Timbre is determined by the shape of the sound wave and the way that the sound is produced. The most common way to measure sound is with a sound level meter. A sound level meter is a device that uses a microphone to measure the sound pressure level of a sound. The sound pressure level is then converted to decibels. In music, pitch is used to create melodies and harmonies. The notes of a musical scale are arranged in ascending order of pitch. The higher the note, the more acute it sounds. The lower the note, the more grave it sounds. Resonance is when something vibrates more strongly when it's exposed to a force that has the same frequency as its natural frequency. An echo is a sound that is reflected back to the listener after it strikes a surface. It occurs when a sound wave encounters a surface that is large enough and smooth enough to reflect the wave back in the same direction it came from. The time it takes for the echo to be heard is called the echo delay. The echo delay is equal to the distance between the source and the reflecting surface, divided by the speed of sound. The echo is usually fainter than the original sound because some of the sound energy is lost when the wave strikes the reflecting surface. The echo is also delayed because it takes time for the sound wave to travel from the source to the reflecting surface, and then back to the listener. 
The echo effect is also used in sonar, which is a system used to detect underwater objects. Did you know that the longest echo ever recorded lasted for 112 seconds? This record was set by Professor Trevor Cox, an acoustic engineer at the University of Salford in the UK. He recorded the echo in a disused railway tunnel in Wales. The tunnel was 2.4 kilometers long, and the echo was created by firing a blank cartridge from a gun. The echo lasted for 112 seconds because the tunnel was so long and because the walls were smooth, which allowed the sound waves to reflect back perfectly. The echo was also amplified by the shape of the tunnel, which created a resonating chamber. The study of sound is called acoustics. It is the science of sound, including its production, propagation, reception, and effects. Acoustics is a branch of physics, but it also overlaps with other fields, such as engineering, biology, and psychology. The main branches of acoustics are Physical acoustics studies the physical properties of sound waves, such as their propagation, reflection, refraction, and diffraction. Engineering acoustics applies the principles of physical acoustics to the design and construction of acoustical systems, such as loudspeakers, microphones, and concert halls. Biological acoustics studies the production, propagation, and reception of sound in animals and plants. Psychological acoustics studies the perception of sound by the human ear. Let's discuss more about sound in coming episodes.